qualified, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I've posted the chart of the uh, E-mini S&P. Uh, it's a, I believe it's a 30-minute chart. No, excuse me, it's a 15-minute chart. Uh, here's where we were uh, on Sunday night, and then we gapped down. You see we stopped right at the 61% retracement, and then for the rest of the day today, we've went up and we've made the ABCD level up into this level uh, right up in here. Now, folks, uh, you know, we've been bearish this market for a long time, and uh, I have, uh, I'm have i beginning to have my doubts. And the reason why I'm having my doubts is these markets are coming back faster than they should, given the news that's out there. In other words, they're taking bad news and just, you know, not paying any attention to it. And, boy, that's a big red flag in my, in my opinion. So I basically covered the short position today in the S&P. And uh, my assumption is that we're going to have some really incredible volatility here into this election. And I just want to be sure that everything's lined up. I hate to give any more back than I did, but it was a huge profit. And then, of course, we've had a, a pretty nice move here in gold. We bought gold last night. And I'll, I'll point that one out to you in just a minute. That's acting extremely well. And then oh, we've got another really, really good trade setup coming here that I want to go over uh, in the next few minutes here, which is in the Treasury bonds and Treasury notes. It's just setting up, uh, wow, just like a, like a Swiss watch. So I, I don't know if it's going to be a broken watch, but we're going to be watching it real closely for a potential buy because uh, the bear market in bonds has just started, folks. But we're due for a really horrendous short covering rally because there is nobody out there that is bullish treasury bonds. You couldn't find a bull if you were out in a cattle ranch here in southern Arizona. I mean, it's just everybody is very, very bearish. I'm just looking at patterns, and that's all I wanted you to see. But I did want to point out one thing here, and that is from the load that we made here on Friday – to the low that we made today in the S&P, we've only been able to make a 382 retracement down there at uh, 37.69. Uh, and since that time, we've just been bouncing back and forth. So that's just a couple of things that I'm paying attention to. There's several foreign markets that uh, are very, very important that are showing signs of you know something really uh, dramatic happening. And I'll bring one of them up here to you right now. This is the Hong Kong market. And if you remember, we've been talking about this huge pattern that is in the Hong Kong market on the long-term weeklies. And that certainly came in, you remember, here at 14,700. And the low was 14,568 within about 150 points. And it's had a huge rally. I mean, just here the last couple of, And this is with tremendously bearish news coming out of here, folks. And the reason why is... The, uh, the the Chinese have, you know, they said they were going to shut down, and that, that was not what they wanted to see. But look what happened. Look what happened to the Hong Kong stock market with that bearish news. I mean, this this should have been extremely bearish. I mean, they were talking about it on Bloomberg. Oh, boy, look what's going to get hit today. And you can see this huge move that we've had. This is the biggest rally, folks, we've had since this bear market started way back here with that 135 pattern. Look at that. Look at the size of that move here. In just a few uh, – you know, a few days. I mean, this is uh, this is important. Yeah, hey, at least from my perspective. You know, I don't know fundamentals, but I want to see how markets are reacting to fundamentals. News was very bearish coming out of Hong Kong, even with Alibaba. They haven't seen Joy. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Ma. I can't remember Ma's first name. Uh, shucks. Anyway, Mr. Ma has not been seen around for a very, very long time. And, uh, you know, that may or may not mean anything. I don't know. All I know is that news is really bearish and is not going down. And that's another thing to pay attention to. Now, if we take a look at the FXI, this is the ETF for the Chinese market. We'll get this up here. 
And I don't, don't usually do this, but I just giving you an overall flavor of what's going on in the whole world. But you can see we've been in this tremendous bear market for a year and a half back here. If you remember here, we were way back here in 2001, and look at there, 2001, 2002, and look where we are now. A year and a half, coming straight down. And we're almost at the 1.618 expansion. You can see we've had a really big rally here in the Chinese market uh, also. So the market's acting like it wants to rally. Now, they're bear markets. There's no question about that. But bear markets can have one hellacious rallies, and I don't want to get stuck in one of those things. And I think with the election coming out, anything could happen, and it usually does. And I'm not concerned about that because we're going to survive no matter who's elected. Uh, one party might be harder to survive than another, but we'll get through it. We've been in this this uh, wonderful republic now for 230 some, 240 some years, whatever it is. And by golly, that's uh, that's a very important thing. Now let's take a look at one of the markets that really needs our attention, and that is the old Treasury bonds. This is the second largest of all the commodities that are traded under the Treasury notes. I'm not counting euro dollars, folks, because that market's too big to even count. But if you'll notice here, this is the uh, our, uh, chart of the Treasury bonds going over the last several weeks. You see we made a 50% retracement, had a big rally. This was the 382, if you'll remember. Then we came down and made the 78% level. Then we rallied up uh, four days ago to the 382. And look at this. Now we've had the 135 pattern just as clear as a bell. There's one, there's three, and there's five. And we're breaking below the 119. We're at a 118 and change right now. The old low that we had back in here was just about one or two ticks under 117. So we're about a point and a half away. We're below the 786 right now. And so what we're looking for is we're looking for an ABCD structure that's going to take this down to our final count that we've been looking at in the Treasury bonds for a very long time, and that number is 115.01 uh, to 114.78. Uh, that's what it. Uh, that's what it looks like from a you know really long term uh, perspective. And I'll get this up here. Uh, it's actually 116.28. Give me the number here. Hold on one second here, folks. And we'll get it up here so you can see it. And you'll be looking at it right now. That number is uh, 116.28. You can see our we're very, very close to it. And uh, the ABCD measures right to that level. And uh, I believe that we're going to get there. We're only, let me see, we're less than a point and a half away from it right now. You know, so that's why I think it's got a really good chance of thinking. And I'm not giving a buy yet in here. And there will probably be two different ways I'll enter this, but I am watching watching for a rally here. This is a two-and-a-half-year bear market. This is negative interest rates. This is, oh, please let me in on Treasury bonds. And then, boom, down she comes. And now nobody is even interested in buying. The whole world wanted them here. The whole world had to have them at negative interest rates. Please take my money and don't worry about giving it back or making any guarantees. And, uh, okay, I'll pay you for holding my money. I won't make any interest, but that sounds like a really good deal. Yeah, and here comes the horse you rode in on. Hey, we'll be right back, 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Okay, folks, I wanted to post a chart of the British pound because, you know, we've been watching the U.S. dollar and the pound is one of the larger ones. Of course, the euro is the biggest one, but we made a 382 retracement here in the middle of the night. You'll see here, this is where it uh, took off. I think it was around, around 2 o'clock in the morning New York time, and the thing just absolutely exploded out of there from that. It hit the exact uh, 382 off of the, you know, from the high down to the low. Exact 382 was right here. And then it took off and rallied and rallied, and, and it's still rallying. It's just going up. It's well over two handles already above that. Now, the euro on this particular move like this opened slightly lower. I mean, just slightly lower and couldn't, couldn't, wouldn't retrace at all. It just stayed slightly lower and then finally started to work higher. But this has been the one that has been the, the biggest one. Also, the breakdown in the Japanese yen that we, that we pointed out in the newsletter and then also in the video on Forex that we sent uh, Sunday night that that was the one because it broke way below 148 and broke into the 145 level. So that tells us that we're in a correction part of the dollar index. Is the dollar index finished forever? There's a possibility of that, but right now, you just have to see what those corrections are going to be. We're still in a very, very bear market, strong bear market uh, in the euro and all these others. But the thing is, this thing can have a you know much, much stronger market. And we're setting over, uh, what, a lunar eclipse and full moon, and we have an election, and oh my goodness, just so many other things going on. I mean, it's really difficult to... Uh, you know, say there's not much risk in these markets because, you know, they certainly are. Just to give you an example, let me bring this up here to you, the situation in the euro as we get to take a look at this. This is the daily chart of the euro. And as you can see, we had this really nice pattern here just last week. We were down six days in a row. Where did we stop? We stopped at the exact 61% retracement of the move from the low and 78% from the secondary low. Both numbers coming in together. That was the same thing we were looking at when we were watching the dollar index making a 78% rally up at that 1, 113 area. And now it's broken down below 110. That's how quickly it moves. And now, you know, we're getting ready, it looks like, here in the euro is to make the first really, or the second, first, this, this was the first big ABCD right here. And now, we're getting ready to do the second one, A, B, C, D. That's going to be up even higher. So this is just going to be a major correction in this 
really long term five or six month bear market. Well, it's been five or six years, but it's been a really strong bear market through here, and we're due for something pretty substantial. Remember, we had a really big rally right here at the 382. Then we had almost the same rally right here, okay? And this is what we had just now, and we're getting ready to do it the fourth time. <clears throat> so that's what we're paying attention to. And I think uh, we've got some good handles on some of these things, but uh, that's pretty much it. Now, let's switch over uh, to the gold market because uh, we had a real interesting move in gold last night. Uh, if you remember, we had uh, we had been short the gold down into that 1625 level, uh, reversed and went long. And then, of course, I made the, the fatal – well, it's not fatal, but I made the fatal decision here to sell this 382 with a $5 stop. And so we gave all of this back. We made all of this to the downside, okay? And then we we left this part on the table. But we had the first 382 here on Friday. That was uh, – we pulled back just right before the close. And boom, look what happened. We exploded. Here's where we were coming in Sunday night. We came down and made a perfect 382 retracement down here at 17 – excuse me, 1670 and proceeded to rally $17. So we got our stop at break even now uh, in the gold because if the gold fails from here and there's a possibility, we're going to be looking at an A, B, C, D down here at 1660, and that's where, excuse me, 1659, and that's where we want to be a buyer because the 382 gave us almost, well, it did make a new high slightly, and so that would take us down here to the 618 at this level right here. So once you have a $1,700 profit in gold, folks, that's 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 money that's in your pocket. You, know, you can see it on your equity run, you know what I mean? So what you want to do is make sure you protect yourself that you don't lose. You don't necessarily have to make any money on that trade. You can if you want to, but it'll only be a few hundred dollars because you've got to give it a little bit of room. So far, all it's been able to, re to retrace is 50% of this uh, overnight range that we've had. So that's what we're doing when we're doing something like this is putting our money management program in so that we know how much we have to risk because, you know, the worst thing that can happen is you don't put a stop in right here, okay, and the market comes all the way down here. And instead of having a $1,700 profit, now you're setting with a $1,700 loss. Boys and girls, I can tell you with 100% certainty that does not feel very well, no matter what kind of trader you are. So there's a possibility here that we could make this A, B, C, D here down at this 61% retracement in the gold. So that's definitely on our watch list, along with the, with the Treasury bonds. We're paying very, very close attention to those also. Now, we've got Norm Winsky coming up, but I wanted to, to share with you a chart of the German DAX. Uh, this is a chart that goes back over the last year because we just had something really dramatic happening here in the German DAX. And it did it in a very, very uh, interesting way. We've just made the 382 retracement, folks, of the high from way back there. So this is a really big. Look at the lower highs all through here. And so we've been in a really strong rally here, just like we have in the stocks, okay? Now, this is holding up pretty well, but there's a chance that this thing could be breaking out to go even higher because we have this big A, B, C, D coming in here perfectly a few weeks ago, just like we were here uh, on October the 16th, uh, when we made our bottom, yeah, it was the 14th, we made our bottoms, and the same thing is happening here. So all this stuff is coming together, and it's going to be really interesting to see how it unfolds. If we look at the FTSE market, you'll see that it's doing a very, very similar thing. See, all, all of these are all in rally modes. So the question is, is it going to be a, a uh, disappointment of, the, of American elections or something positive about inflation what could it be i mean it could be so many things china comes back on board and says oh you know COVID was a blessing all of our hospitals are empty you know something like that <laughs> i don't i'm making it up <laughs> but everybody else does too so why should i be any different anyway but you can see here that's a one three five pattern here that we have in the FTSE, and that tells us high probability that it's with a very low risk that it should start to go to the downside and right now, our market is up just a little bit. There's not really a whole lot happening in it. We're up about, uh, well, Dow's up. Well, Dow's up 270, and the S&P's up about 11. So they're acting pretty good. And the NASDAQ is up. Only the, Euro, uh, the Russell is down. 
But uh, that's pretty much uh, what we're watching here. Uh, here. Here's what we're watching today. Now, remember, uh, our guest today will be Norm Winsky of Astro Cycles. Let's try that Astro. <laughs> Larry, you got to get a life and stop thinking about these things. Astro Trends, Larry. Astro Cycles is what I used to have many years ago. But Norm will be on. He's got a nice program lined up for us. Tomorrow we have uh, Rich Anderson. Wednesday we have Shane, Thursday we have Tim Blast, and uh, that, and then Friday is the uh, Memorial Day for Veterans Day. And golly gee, try to do something great for the veterans, folks. We've got a wonderful veteran VA hospital here in Tucson that I certainly, uh, Sarah and I certainly support, and uh, it's always uh, these guys are great. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I believe we have on the line, he's in the house, the Wizard Winsky himself. Norman, how are you doing? Great, Larry. Thanks for having me on. Well, it's our pleasure because you've given us some good information in the past. So as long as you keep doing that, you're always welcome. But as you know, the first time you're wrong, you go into the history books. As you know, I'm joking, Norm, but uh, no one can be right all the time. But you've done a great job, Norm. I have to salute you because, you know, some of the stuff you've given us has been fabulous. And we have a lunar eclipse and full moon tomorrow in the midst of an election Two things that we have questions are, are any predictions on the election norm? That's one of our listeners from Durango, Colorado. Nope. <laughs> nope, that's it. Thank you, Mr. Durango. Go back to have a nice uh, lunch there at that bed and breakfast inn there at the foot of the foot of the Rockies. Go ahead, buddy. Start the show, please. 
All right. Hopefully, I'll do better than last time, huh, Larry? <laughs> uh, you did pretty good last time. We we, uh, we like uh, having you, so go ahead. Anyway, so uh, uh, I think I was on your show last about the 21st of October, and I made some forecasts into the end of the month. Uh, we had some stuff happening over the uh, 21st weekend there. We had Saturn and Aquarius turn direct, and uh, because that was Saturn and Aquarius. By the way, let me point out, all this stuff, the stock market tends to respond to everything versus commodities are narrow filters that only respond to certain things. Saturn is coffee, Aquarius is copper, and there we go. So we're looking at coffee and copper. And then we had a new moon, solar eclipse in Scorpio, uh, the night of the 24th. And that was, we said, anytime we have a new moon, full moon, we look at the our usual suspects, our financial grains, precious metals, and because it was in Scorpio, we were running a special on cocoa, hogs, and T-bonds, which T-bonds are also included under your financials. So that's a double uh, whammy for the T-bonds, you know? Double hit for the bonds. So there we go. And then the night of the 27th, we had Jupiter changing signs. At Jupiter, it was is retrograde. It's going backwards now into, from geo point of view, geocentric point of view. And it's going backwards and went from Aries back into Pisces. And so we'll be that forms and when it hits the zero Aries point, it forms angles to other signs that are connected with various plants, different different commodities. For example, coffee, corn, gold, oil, oil, sugar, and wheat. And then we had the night of the 28th. That was the end of the, uh, the right before Halloween. There that weekend, we had Mars and Gemini turn retrograde. And that was uh, we're looking for at the stock market there. The Gemini doesn't is not really connect to any liquid commodity markets. So that's all you got is the stock market. I'm going to have a special little talk class, uh, Fibonacci class. You'll love it, Larry. Uh, what happened there when Mars turned retrograde and the S&P? All right, moving ahead here. Let's just take a quick look at these markets now. What happened? Here's, let's see, for the grains, we had, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, you had the moon and Jupiter. There was the, the earlier one was the solar eclipse, the new moon. And you made a little bit of low there for the corn for about a two-day pop. Then it pulled back down when Jupiter got to zero Aries. That's a trine to Leo, which is corn. And then zoom, and then we had a big rally on the corn. That was a nice low there. So that's a green arrow. By the way, the rules of the game, if you haven't seen this before, are a green means you had an opportunity to make some money in my time window within one trading day. And if you see a red one, that means it missed. It just kept going. It didn't turn. We're looking for, basically looking for the turn and markets to turn. And if we're going sideways, that's a yellow box. It means that we did nothing. That's a pass. Here are the, <laughs> the beans, the soybeans pulled back into the solar eclipse new moon and then off, off and away into our, uh, up in the sky there with the beans. So that was, I think, about 90 cent rally there. That's but 80, 90 cent rally, about $4,000 there. Mm -hmm. And then the wheat at, uh, let's see, oh yeah, they uh, it went lower here too much. And that, uh, oh, it didn't go anywhere. That's what it was. And so you didn't have, didn't make any money, didn't lose any money. Well, you might, you know, you could have lost a few pennies. But so I gave that a red arrow. That's a miss. And then it was going sideways. So we took a pass and missed out on the big pop there on the wheat. Here, Coco was rallying into the new moon in Scorpio, and he had a nice top there for a, a pretty good one to two day drop. Here's coffee. It, had, it doesn't look like much there, but because the coffee has had this huge move, the scaling got squeezed, and so that's actually a 10 cent move there, which is three, as you know, Larry, three thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. So it's not exactly chump change, you know. So anyway, rallied into there, and you made a little top there, and then down, down, down she goes. All right, and right here, we had a date here, uh, but that was kind of going sideways for about two, three days, and so we did nothing. Here's the sugar. This is like the textbook trade of the day. Look at that. Down, down, down into Jupiter, hitting zero Aries, and then up, up, up. It doesn't get much simpler than that. Okay, hogs are just going sideways, so we took a pass there. Here's the oil rallied into our Jupiter, leaving Aries, going into Pisces point there on the morning of the 28th. 
And that was a nice short-term top there. And here's the copper doing the same thing. Uh, there you go. And uh, here's the silver. Had a little one-day drop there, about 60 cents, which, you know, Larry, if you're trading the big silver there, that's uh, that about $3,000. So that's not small change either in my book. And then the gold had a little pullback low there and ran rallied and then went sideways and so forth. And S&P, we did 50-50 here. The first two were misses. The, that was the Saturn thing and then the moon. And then you pulled back for Jupiter. That was good, Jupiter. And then into the weekend of the 28th, we rallied into just over 3,900. And I had this in the letter, Larry. I don't know if you read it or not, but I talked about something I learned back in the 80s when I back here, Larry, you'll get a chuckle out of this. Back when, before we had internet and you had to do all your charting by hand there, and I would sit there <laughs> at a desk and my hand, my hand, my arm was a plot, as what they used to call those, a plotter. And every time mm -hmm. the market would move, my hand would go up and down on a big chart, you know. And so I started uh, uh, calculating the retracements. And I discovered something called the 309. Did you ever hear of a 309, Larry? I just listen to the Beach Boys all the time, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that. You know, it, uh, giddy up, giddy up, 309, right? Yeah. Well, the 309, the, what, in a 50% retracement often occurs in a fourth wave. I was kind of a little bit in the Elliott wave back then. Not so much now, but anyway, uh, fourth wave often occurs, 50% retracement often occurs in a wave four. And Larry, here's some high math for you. What's 618 of 50 or 50% or of 618? It's 309. So like a, a corrective wave within a wave four could be a 30.9% a retracement. And guess what? If you measure the entire... 2022 bear market from January, I think, of the fourth, right, or the third, or the fourth, at 38, nine, doing this from oh, 48, 19 high, down to the 34, 91 low in October, and you do a 30.9 percent retracement of that, you end up at just over 3,900, and we had Mars turning retrograde that weekend. So I said in my letter, this was an important level. And then look what happened. Then we had a pretty good drop there, almost about 180 handles, I think, right? Yep, sure is right. I like that relationship with the Beach Boys. That's good. Hey, we've got to pay a few bills. Can you stay with us for another segment? Absolutely. Thank you. Okay, we'll be right back with Norm Winsky, folks, Astro Trends. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, talking with Norm Winsky of Astro Trans. Norm, please continue. Just to recap what we were just talking about, we said she's real fine by 309, and we had time and price come together there on the weekend of the 28th for a high. We went, did go a little bit higher that Tuesday on the gap up opening. It was only there for a few minutes before it started dropping. I think it got to about 38, I'm, I'm sorry, 39.11, and then that was it. You know, I, I had about 39.02 as the key level there, and so it wasn't too bad. And then we, so anyway, that's, I, I made a, don't usually forecast price, because if you have, I believe that if you have the right time, you'll have the right price, but it all came together there. That was kind of a, a magic moment. All right, here's T-Bonds. We had a double hit here for the solar eclipse. And by the way, AC, most of these things are AC, which means after the close. So if you had a, a solar eclipse the night of the 24th, and we look at the opening, the next day's opening, and that's where we look to do the trade. And look at that. Look where you'd be. It's pretty obvious. Bonds are going down, down, down. So you'd be looking to buy here on the next morning's opening. And then you're buying right in just a few ticks off the low. And then it went up, up, up. So that's pretty good. And a dollar, not so good. It just kept going. And mm -hmm. the currencies usually have been, in the past, have been pretty good on the moons. Here we had a little pullback low here for the Aussie dollar, and then it had a big, a pretty good rally there. And here's your BP. You were talking about that, and they had a pullback mm -hmm. low there, and now we rallied there, and then back. This is these charts were done over the uh, weekend, and uh, there you go down there. And I guess it's back up now. You say, Larry, and here's your euro. There you go. That missed, but the uh, Japanese yen that had a nice pullback on the moon there. And you had a chance to make some money there. So if you add up the green arrows and the red arrows, I had 17 winners, five misses out of 22 for 77.27%. That's a pretty good thing. All right, yeah. here's what's coming. Here's what's oh, coming up. We just had over the fourth weekend here, the November 4 weekend, into today, we have the moons north. Although, you know, here's another thing I look at, and I know you count these too. How many days in a row? has the market gone in one direction consecutively, you know? Yes. And we had a one-day one day wonder rally on Friday, and that's not uh, – I don't think that's a, a very high uh, a probability uh, uh, setup for a turn. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I, you know, I don't encourage my people to jump in there after a one-day move. You know, if they get to four or five, and especially at five or six, that's a high probability – set up for a possible turn if you're at the right time, right? So yes, that's, that's how correct. I see it. So anyway, we had a one-day move, so I wasn't really excited for a turn today, but I did have high energy over the weekend here and put the moves north node to the U.S. charts. So that's U.S. stock, T-bonds, U.S. dollar. And we had two of these. There's another one, Saturn, and to the U.S. chart. And then uh, tonight, let's see, that's the seventh. Yeah, that's yeah. right. We have two things happening. Helio Mars is changing signs going into Gemini. That's, that indicates stocks, maybe. 
And then we have, of course, as you mentioned, the full moon, lunar eclipse in the sign of Taurus, the bull. And so we'll round up the usual suspects, financial screens, precious metals. Mm. And because it's in Taurus, we'll round up, the, we'll take a look at the uh, Taurus markets of cattle and cotton. What's the time, and Norm? The next night, then the next night, we got Norm. another one of my top things happening. That'll be Tuesday night. We have Mercury at zero latitude. Anytime you have that, that's the grain. So this whole, this is like a two to three day window here. We got big stuff happening. And so look for, this could all, let's see, Tuesday night, Wednesday, we should get some kind of resolution, which I'm not, I'm not saying this because of the election, but it coincides mm -hmm. with the election. When probably after the election results come out, then all these markets are going to decide which way they want to go, you know? Sure. And, or Norm, or at least the, may, they might reverse. You know, a lot of them might reverse. You got your corn, it? your oats. I think we'll just. I'm, I'm going to delete the oats because nobody. Don't, you know, only two horses in Wyoming trade the oats, Larry. That's and true. there you go. So, Norm, what's Norm, that? What is the exact time of the solar eclipse and a new lunar eclipse and and full moon on t t tomorrow? Well, they're after the close. I'd have to look those up. Okay. So it's, it's after the close, so the effect will be on the ninth. I mean, it'll I think start I just remember now. I think it's like six in the morning, six oh three Eastern time, something like that. Uh, uh, that would be on the eighth or the ninth. No, tomorrow morning. Okay, so that's that. The it's well, going to be before that, the, the that's, day that's, session. That's, that's that's one of the magic times, six o'clock in the morning. So that's going to be interesting. All right. Well, uh, that's yeah. uh, before way before the day session opens. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Well, that night session gives you a lot of things sometimes. Now, so. if you're on the East Coast here, like yeah. I sort of am, uh, you might have trouble seeing the lunar eclipse because the sun will be rising about then. If you're farther west, you might have a shot at seeing it out there in Arizona, Larry. You can mm -hmm. probably go out there at 3 in the morning and see it. They say yeah. this is going to be a very long lunar eclipse. I think it lasts, I think I read where I forget how long. It's going to be one of the longest ones. Of, of, for yeah, quite some be, time. You know? I'll, I usually be tending my garlic crop around that time of the morning, so I'll be looking for it. There you go. Get out there and feed those chickens, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Norm, one other question that we have from one of our listeners, and that is, do you do birth charts for people? Uh, you know, I to do read that. Their birth? I, I do that as a combination of some of my clients. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, just I, do, I, just use, right. I just do a computer program. You know, I, you know. Okay. So, so if they want to contact me, if they want to learn astrology, I have an astrology course. I'll teach you mm -hmm. astrology, you know. Okay. How yeah. do they reach you, Norm? Oh, let's get to that. Uh, we got one more thing to look at here. Copper. Oh, well, let's... I got something coming up here in copper. I forget why I mentioned this now. Let's see. Ba, ba, ba. Uh, for some reason, I put the copper chart here. But anyway, there you go. There's copper is rallying into the moon here. Maybe mm -hmm. that. Maybe I was thinking that that was going to be a... Uh, a change in trend for copper. I don't know now. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's my bio. I've been doing this a long time. Started out there as a Chicago floor trader back in 1975. They still have the dinosaurs roaming the <laughs> trading floor there, Larry. Hey, one looks like uh -huh. you, they tell me. <laughs> What's that? I says, one looks like you because they think I'm a Tyrannosaurus Rex. There so you, you must be one of the other ones. So go right I'm ahead, a I'm a Normosaurus. <laughs> There you go. Here's how to get it here. I got free. Uh, call me up. I'll give you a free uh, class on some of the terminology and stuff I have in here. And, you know, I know it looks foreign. It looks complicated. But after I explain it, everybody says it's nothing's over a fifth grade level because that's where I'm at, Larry. And, uh, and you know, you and I repeated the fifth grade about three times, right? Three times. Yeah, I was in the yeah, three, third go. grade for five years. Here's so how to get a hold of me. Three years. Here's how to get a hold of me. I'm in uh, beautiful Naples, Florida, still beautiful after the hurricane. 239-594-3939. And Linsky at A-M-B-A-R-Q-M-A-I-L.com. I've been having a little trouble with this email. So if you don't hear from me within a day, give me a call or something or, or try me again. They're working on it now. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of off and on this morning. Uh, here, call me, and you can call me on Skype at Ann Winsky underscore one. So, looking forward to helping some of your folks, Larry. Well, we hope have so a great too. Week. Okay, folks, we'll be right back with talking about Treasury bonds one more time. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight, and a good thank you to Mr. Norm Winsky of Astro Trends. We'll be right back.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, this is where it gets tricky. I posted the chart here of the weekly Treasury bonds. You can see we're down, I believe this is the 18th or 19th week that we've been down. You can see we've done this before. But the thing that you want to do now is to do the work yourself. In other words, blow up this last part of the chart, you know, the last ABCD that we're looking at here that measures down to 1628. Okay, now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be issuing a buy signal uh, probably uh, definitely before 6 o'clock in the morning tonight and uh, in the morning because that's when the eclipse is happening. I think it'll may or may not happen right on the exact minute. I'm just going to be looking at a price level that I want to take a shot at it. We've done this before. Uh, sometimes they've worked out. Sometimes they haven't. They've all had control risk. But this is one that – this is going to be a big rally, folks. I uh, you know, I can say with a lot of degree of certainty this is going to – you can't find anybody that wants to buy a treasury bond. Somebody must want to. But anyway, let's uh, pay attention to this one. But do the work yourself. Go back over the last three or four – Let's see, let's see, this is a weekly. So go over the last year, and when we had the last 382 retracement up there at 144, and measure that, and then count the number of weeks down, and count the number of weeks down in the CD leg and in the AB leg, and that'll give you an area, and figure out what's your expansion number. The ABCD measures to 116.28. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably put an order in at uh, 116.08, something like that, 
and use a one and a half point stop is what I'll probably use. So those are the things that I'm going to be watching for tomorrow into this eclipse. I don't know what's going to happen with the election. No matter what's going to happen, folks, we're going to surprise, survive. We've been here 247 years. It's the end of the world is greatly over-exaggerated. You know, we don't know when that's going to happen because our planet's, what, four, or five, six, seven year, billion years old? They don't even know. So live the, every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. 